Hi, welcome back to Let's Make Lemonade, where we make lemonade from the lemons that infertility gives us and make the best of our crappy situation. I'm Selena, and if you are new to this channel, I am in the middle of IVF. I have been dealing with infertility for nine years, and I have never been pregnant. So my husband and I finally decided we're gonna do IVF. We are in the middle of it, and I have a transfer coming up in a couple of weeks. So that's what this video is about. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to follow this journey and to follow where all of this will lead us. When you subscribe, don't forget to push that bell for notifications whenever we do post a new video. So let's get started. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about the preparation for the frozen embryo transfer that is coming up. Now, today I had my first appointment, and that first appointment is called the baseline monitoring appointment. And, you know, it's a pretty quick appointment, but it is the yay or nay of it all. It is the, hey, I'm going to give you the green light and you can go ahead and continue with the cycle or not. So let's talk about that. To start, I had my appointment this morning. I felt I felt all kinds of things. I felt nervous. I felt happy that it's finally here. I felt um, somewhat jittery. I felt just anxious because it's here. And you know that saying, stop thinking about all the things that could go wrong and start thinking about the things that could go right? Well, I wasn't doing that. <laughs> I was kind of like, we as humans, right? It's so easy to think of all the things that could go wrong because I think that's just how our brain is wired. We immediately start trying to um, put on a defense mechanism and kind of put our wall up because we're trying to protect ourselves. Whew. And even though it naturally happens, it's not really always the best thing for us. So I just found myself doing that this morning a little bit on my way to the appointment. I was a little nervous. And I just kind of just kept praying and telling myself like, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. There's no reason to think that it shouldn't be okay. So I go into the appointment and I see my doctor. He's super quick, sees me fast. And he's like, all right, so we're gonna check your, your uterus. We're gonna check your lining. And um, you give your blood that day also. And, um, well, and you also pee in a cup, which I'm like, I'm on my period, hello, but whatever. I know it's protocol. Um, so they draw my blood and then it's time to check my uterus. And so, um, you know, that was kind of uncomfortable because those appointments where you are on your period, it's just, just sucks. I mean, let's just be honest. It's already awkward, but then when you're bleeding, let's just be real. It's gross, but it's, it, it is what it is. It just makes it kind of awkward, you know, don't you think? All right, here we are. So I go in, he asks me, you know, some questions and he said, all right, we're going to check you out and um, if everything looks good, then you should be good to go. Um, we just want to make sure you're, that your estrogen isn't too high. And of course, bing, me, I'm thinking, um, okay, so what if it's too high? So I asked him, well, what if it's too high? And he said, well, if it's too high, then we have to delay it. That means that you would have a cyst and the cyst is um, releasing the estrogen. And I, there we go, thinking of all the things that could go bad. And, and I just was like, okay. So he looks at the lining, he says, okay, your lining looks great. Um, look at the right side, your right ovary looks great. Look on the left side, your left ovary looks great. And, um, and he said, okay, well, girl, you are ready to rock and roll. That is what he said. I am so excited. Oh, so I get the call later about the estrogen and they'll let me know that the estrogen is where it needs to be. So that is good, that is good. I was very happy to hear that. Super duper happy, right? I mean, that's what you wanna hear. Hey, you got the green light and you can go. So, um, I left and, but of course I still needed that phone call. You know, that phone call that you get later on when they say, okay, well, your estrogen's good, whatever. Right. And so she calls mm, about three, about 3 PM. And she's like, all right, just want to let you know your estrogen is good. You're ready to go. Start taking your estradiol today. 
So that's what this is. I showed you in the other video, um, I showed you all the medication that I'm taking for this. So if you haven't seen that, please go see the other video. But I start with estradiol and I start with one milligram. And I do it, I do it twice. I do it one in the morning and one in the evening. And birth control, my birth control was a little blue pill and I was so happy to say bye bye to it. But now we have another new blue pill. Can you see it? Can you see it, new little blue pill? So I've already taken one and I will take another one tonight. I have asked some girls, hey, what were your symptoms? I actually didn't look at the symptoms because to me, I like to not like Google it. I like to not look at the symptoms because sometimes when you see those symptoms ahead of time, you kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of plays with your mind, don't you think? So I like to just be naive to it all, be green to it all. And then once I have symptoms, then I'm like, okay, let's look and see if X, Y, Z, if this is what's causing it. So some girl said, honestly, I didn't have very many symptoms. Um, some girl said I got headaches on it um, or it made me really tired. But eventually as the weeks go on, I got used to it. So, you know, you think about it, this is just the beginning of it. God willing, this works, this transfer works, then whenever you're going through this, you're gonna be on the, the estrogen and for weeks, and then, you know, you add the progesterone and then you do that for weeks too. So it's just, it's just the very small start of it all. My calendar, I also showed this to you last time. And so it shows that today, I start with my one milligram estradiol twice a day, and then I do that for four days. On the fifth day, I actually start, I actually do another bottle that I showed you in the other video, and that is each pill is two milligrams per pill. So I'll do the two milligrams in the morning and the two milligrams at night, and then we'll just keep going with that. Um, and then at some point it increases to three times. Um, so that, that is really it. That is for um, what's happened in today's appointment. Um, I have a monitoring, my second monitoring appointment in, in a week, a week from today. And that will be, um, yeah, that'll be at 8.30 in the morning. So, you know, this past week has gone pretty quickly. I've just been doing my, my best to keep my mind just, um, just busy, just busy because it's better to be that way. You know, this whole, this whole IVF thing, infertility is just a freaking waiting game. It sucks. Even if you don't do IVF. I mean, we tried for years. Remember? I mean, we tried for years. So it has just been one freaking heck of a waiting game and it just sucks. And I wish there was a better way. I wish there was an easy way, but there isn't. And all you can do is wait and it's hard and it's hard. So it's just another week and I just try to keep my mind busy and just be, be surprised when the day is actually here. That is all I got for you. If you are in the middle of a transfer, if you are about to transfer, good luck to you, best wishes, um, God bless you. I, I just, I hope, I, I want to see all of us, right? I want us to see all of us who really have this dream and desire to, to be a mother. I want us to accomplish those dreams. And so, hey, I am with you. Let me know if you're going through this in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, push the bell for the notifications. And yeah, that's it. So I'll let you know how the next appointment goes. Um, God willing that everything will go smoothly and um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I've heard from some of you amazing women who are going through this as well and some of us are at the same time. So I think that's pretty freaking cool. So I hope that everything goes smoothly with you and that there are no hiccups and we can all just kind of move right along to our miracle baby. So until next time, see you then. Welcome back to Let's Make Lemonade, where we make lemons from all the infertility, 
I'm Selena, if you have not. I'm Selena, and if you have not pulled the bell, this is very choppy. When you subscribe, push the notifications for the frozen embryo, embryo, I always have a hard time saying that. Um, all right, so we're gonna check your, your so, um, yeah.